created it by hand. From mighty mountains to the raging sea, to every leaf on every single tree, it's in the holy book. Just open up and take a look. Years ago, in the land of Israel, the people were waiting for a very important event. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. They heard the old story that one day God was going to send them a new king, a king who would protect them, bring them peace, and give the people more freedom. When is the new king going to come, anyway? Our parents, our grandparents, our great grandparents promised he would. They said he was coming. Yeah, but when? Even in King Herod's palace, people waited. Faster, faster! <laughs> when will that new and better king get here? What was that? Nothing. No talking aloud. You will eat only bread and water for the next thirty days. No. Fifty days. Oh. Old stale bread. Oh. And only four drops of water. No, make that three drops of water a day. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> then, one day in the town of Nazareth, a young woman named Mary had a most amazing visitor, an angel. Who are you? Please don't be afraid, Mary. I am the angel Gabriel. I've come to bring good news. News? For me? God has chosen you from all the women of the world to be the mother of his son. God has chosen me? How can this be? Everything is possible with God. You will have a son. He will be the son of God. And you will call the baby Jesus. Whatever God wants, I will do. Oh. Mary loved a man named Joseph. One night, an angel came to Joseph in his dream. Joseph. God has great and wonderful plans for you and Mary. Mary is going to have God's son. He will be God's promised king. Give him the name of Jesus and take good care of Mary and the baby king when he comes. Mary. My Mary. God sent an angel to tell me about the child. I love you, Mary. I love you too, Joseph. Soon after, Mary and Joseph were married. It was right about at this time that Augustus Caesar, the emperor of the whole Roman Empire, wanted to count the people who lived under his rule. 25, 26, 27. There are 692 people from the town of Hebron and 839 from the town of Jericho. Add it to the list. 28, 29, 30. I'm getting tired. Send servants out to count all the people in my land. Everyone was ordered to go to their hometown so they could be counted. Joseph had to take Mary to Bethlehem, the town where he was from. Bethlehem was very far away.
Excuse me, Shepherd. Do you know how far Bethlehem is? It's a long trip. 70 miles from here. Don't worry, Mary. I won't. I feel very safe with you, Joseph. For you see, Mary was expecting the new baby to arrive soon. Thank you, Shepherd. God be with you. And, and with, with you, you too. too. By day, they traveled many miles. We're more than halfway there. I'm sure we'll be there in no time. Here, Mary. It's nice and cold. Thanks. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> At night, they slept in the open air. <laughs> ah. The next afternoon, they saw a sign. Bethlehem was only three miles away. We're almost there. Soon we'll be in a comfortable room at the inn. There were many travelers in Bethlehem that night. Where can I get a good meal? Where's the inn? Where's a good place to stay? Good evening, kind man. Can you tell us how to get to the inn? Of course. Why not take the shortcut? Just go around this corner, then up the steep hill. You'll pass the granary, then go right, then left, then two rights, then your second left, and then let's see. Right, left, right, left, and you're there. Thank you. You're welcome. Huh? Excuse me, do you know where the inn is? Sure, it's right at the end of this street. It is? That's wonderful. Thank you, little girl. You're welcome. God be with you. And, and with, with you, you too. too. It was closer than we thought. We're here. Yes. Quit pushing. I'd like a room for my wife and myself. So would everyone. We have too many people here now. My husband keeps saying yes, yes, yes. Tonight, we'll have to sleep in the kitchen. But we've been traveling for days. What's going on here? They want a room. What else? Uh, I'm sorry. We really have no more space at all. My wife is very tired. We came from very far away. Yes, so have a lot of people. And my wife is expecting a baby. I'll tell you what I can do. We have a stable out back. It's full of animals, but at least you'll have a roof over your heads. It'll be warmer and safer than sleeping out in the open. Thank you. You're very kind. Come, I'll show you. You have some important company. I hope you'll be comfortable here. It's the best I can do. Thank you. We're very grateful. Let's try and make the best of it. During that night, a most wonderful thing happened. The baby was born, God's little son. We'll call the baby Jesus. Jesus. Mary and Joseph loved their new baby boy very much. 
I must wrap him to keep him warm and comfortable. The ox's feeding box. Jesus can sleep in here. And so the baby Jesus lay in a manger, surrounded by the warmth of love and the protection of God, who was now ready to let all of heaven spread the news of the baby's birth. That night, just outside the town of Bethlehem, shepherds were watching their sheep. How can you let your sheep walk around all night? He should be sleeping. My sheep? That one is yours. You make him go to sleep. I'm not going to walk way over there. You take care of them. No, you. No, you. Look, it's no big deal. You just have to be nice to him, that's all. What do you mean? Just tell him to go to sleep. Hey, sheep! Go to sleep! Come over here, little guy. It's time to sleep. Come here, this way. In. Greetings. Oh, 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 oh. Don't be afraid, shepherds. I bring good news of great joy. Tonight, a most wondrous thing has happened. Here in Bethlehem, the Son of God was born. He is Christ the Lord, the King that comes from God. His name is Jesus, and he is wrapped snugly in a manger. A manger? You can go see him, right now. It is the happiest time of the world. Whoa! Wow. A king in a manger? Right here in Bethlehem? I always thought he'd be in a palace. Let's go into town and see what the angel's talking about. Let's go into town and see what the angel is talking about. I just said that. Then let's go. Whoa! Whoa. This way. Hey, where are you going? Get back with the other sheep. Didn't I tell you to go back? All right, but you'd better behave. Sheep. The angel was right. Look. He's really there. Hello there. What brings you here? We came to see the baby sent from God. We know about him because an angel came and told us. Then many angels came and sang about God's glory and peace on earth. The angel said he'd be wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Just like this. It's true. What the angel said is true. The Son of God, the King in a manger. Mary's heart filled with wonder as the shepherds told their story. She knew that her newborn child was the Son of God. Meanwhile, in the far distant lands of the East, wise men who study the stars saw something new in the sky. I beg your pardon. Not at all. It was entirely my fault. Uh, no, it was me, really. I wasn't looking where I was going. I was noticing that star. <laughs> so was I. What a coincidence. I was too. Uh, I study the stars. <laughs> so do I. Uh, so do I. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh, I am from the Far East. Ah, I am from the Near East. I am from the Mid East. Have you ever been to the furthest east? Yoo-hoo! Wise men! <laughs> Down here! <laughs> you fellas wouldn't by any chance happen to know where that big fat star came from. 
This was just what we were wondering. We've never seen that star before. It's a completely new star. Unless... Unless... The star is a sign from God. Of course! Oh, my A sign from God? That has to be it. The star is a sign from God? <laughs> yes, I see. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> what are you talking about? You see, it is said that a new and bright star would be seen in the sky when the new king is born. Really? But there it is, the new and bright star. It's also said that if we follow that star, it'll lead us to the new king. A new king! He's come at last! A star is a sign! So, are you going to follow it? Absolutely. Positively. Certainly. We're gonna follow that star As long as it takes No matter how far Guiding a song to the child, the chosen one. Starlight, star bright, glimmer of hope, glorious sight. Shine on, shine on into the night. Lead us to our dream, the new. of gold royalty maybe he'll shine just like the star for all time starlight star bright glimmer of hope glowing sign shine on shine on into the night lead us to wise men and bring us the news so the wise men traveled far from the east they kept following the star never taking their eyes off it not knowing where it would lead them look the star is over Israel we should go to the king's palace in Jerusalem the newborn king must be there Please forgive me, Your Majesty. I am so sorry to wake you, but the most unusual thing has happened. Tell me what it is already. And it better be good, or I'll have you locked up. Yes, of course, Your Majesty. It's just that there are wise men visiting from the East. Yes, yes, and? Well, they say they have come to see the King. So, send them in. <laughs> They say they've come to see the newborn king. What are they talking about? Do they think I was born yesterday? Perhaps they were thinking there was another king. Another king? Absurd. Ridiculous. How can there be another king? And if there is someone pretending to be a king, I want to know where he is. 
He'll be sorry, I'll tell you that. Yes, Your Majesty, of course, Your Majesty. But what shall I tell the wise men from the East? Tell them to get lost. No. On second thought, get my advisors and hurry. Advisors! Advisors! Get in here! Yes, Your Majesty? What do you know about this newborn king? So, oh, has he been born? Has who been born? The king. I am the king. We mean the other one. What other one? The one you speak of. The one I speak of? I don't know anything about any king, except that everyone else seems to know about him. Why wasn't I told? Nobody tells me a thing. But we didn't know he was born yet. Who? The newborn king. <sighs> okay, if you're so smart, just where is this newborn king? The old stories say he will be born in Bethlehem. The stories say that, do they? That'll be all. Send these wise men in at once. Who told you to stop? Keep those fans going. And the rest of you, get back to work. Your Majesty, I present the wise men from the East. King Herod, we have come to meet the newborn king. And where did you hear of this king? We saw the star that God put in the sky. A star? From God? A beautiful star. A bright star. A sign from God. <laughs> we knew that if we followed the star, it would lead us to the new king. We want to worship him. This new king is not here. Then... Where is he? He's in Bethlehem. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe you should go find him. Yes. See what I care. Go try and find him. And if you do find him, come and tell me where he is. I would like to worship the new king myself. Enough of that! When the wise men left the palace, they looked into the sky and saw the star once again. Look! There it is! On to Bethlehem! The wise men followed the star right into Bethlehem. Up this way. Come on, everyone. Come see the newborn king. And there, right above the manger, was the star. The wise men knew they had been guided to the right place. We've traveled from distant lands to celebrate the newborn king. May we come in? Please. We knew the baby was born because of the star. We followed it all the way here. We have brought gifts. The wise men gave Jesus gold and sweet-smelling perfume and incense. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for letting us worship the king. We thank God for his great wisdom. He has sent us his son. Praise be to God. Hooray for the new king. Praise be to God. Hooray for the new king. The wise men never did go back to King Herod to tell him the good news about baby Jesus. Everyone rejoiced and thanked God for sending them his son, the new king of the world. <laughs> <laughs>